I'm standing in, in really one of the most unusual and most beautiful spaces in the greater Westcott neighborhood. A lot of people who drive up and down Westcott or drive up and down Allen Street, which are at either end of this one block stretch, uh, don't even know that a concrete place is here. It wasn't originally designed to be this way when the area was platted as part of the Hillsdale development around 1880. Uh, the idea was just to have you know, straight streets, a simple grid that's easy for developers to sell. In 1993, Concord Place was given its current form. In 1924, the green space was clearly designated as Concord Park. Contrary to common belief, Concord Place, with its unusual elongated oval form, is not in any way a continuation of the driving course which had covered most of the Hillsdale tract earlier in the 19th century. That park, which was much, much bigger, covered the entire area of the Hillsdale Track from Clark Street to the south all the way up to Harvard on the north and from, from Westcott to, uh, to Allen. The, the streetcar came down Westcott Street and that's how this area actually got introduced to the general public uh, and stopped right here uh, at the park. Next stop. Victoria Place. The land was just too uh, desirable uh, once that streetcar was there uh, for residential development. The city was bursting at its seams. Uh, people wanted to move out of the downtown and these new streetcars offered opportunities. They could be miles away from their working place, the industrial and the, and the commercial center, but they would be just minutes away by streetcar. The street is lined with impressive houses, mostly built in the first decade of the 20th century. These include some of Syracuse's earliest examples of arts and crafts and craftsman type homes. Because each one is different, we can assume that uh, the builders were either highly competent contractors who had a lot of familiarity with building houses, uh, so they were acting almost as architects, but these are not cookie cutter houses, they don't repeat each other again and again and again. By 1908 about half the street is built up, um, and then certainly by 1924 the entire street is filled up. The feel of the street has been maintained for, for more than a hundred years. At the corner of Allen and Concord Place, there is an important design attributed to Lamont Warner. It's one of the very best examples of the craftsman style, really the, an architect design, a really intentional craftsman style in Syracuse, and, and certainly it's one of the outstanding uh, buildings in the Westcott neighborhood. I call it the Lamont Warner house because Lamont Warner was the architect and we know that he lived here for one year. As a young architect, he did work for Stickley, and uh, he then moved on to other places in the country. Directly across the street, you'll find a transitional design by Ward Wellington Ward, which was one of the first of his many houses in the area. It's the house of John and Anna Tuck. The second project that Ward Wellington Ward worked on on Concord Place. So one of his first uh, is just down the street, uh, was an alteration on an existing house, and that was about 1908, 1909. We don't know exactly what he did there, but certainly there's some exterior features that uh, suggest that he transformed uh, some of the, the windows and some of the decoration. But with the Tuck House in 1910, he had a much freer hand. He's using the popular model of a colonial a revival house, but he's adapting and altering it. And, and by having this large corner lot, he's able to extend the house, wrap it around into a kind of L shape, which makes uh, an opportunity for an open and uh, interesting interior plan. I don't buy into the idea of something being nondescript. It's only nondescript until you start describing it. 
but as soon as you start to use your eyes and look, uh, you know that there are many interesting features. It's such a great neighborhood to walk in because everything surprises, everything delights. There's always something new to look at that you've never looked at before.